Here right now, the former interpreter for Shoei Otani has been charged with bank fraud and now expected to surrender to federal authorities tomorrow. This, as you know, all related to a gambling investigation. NBC 4's Karma Dickerson live at the federal courthouse in downtown Los Angeles with some of the details revealed here today. Karma. But one of the details that sticks out the most is the amount of money allegedly stolen here, $16 million. Now, if you can pause for a second to take that amount of money in, it's more than three times what was initially reported in connection to this case. Of course, we know now that this started with an investigation into an illegal gambling operation that ended up encompassing one of sports' biggest stars. And now that former interpreter, a close friend of Shohei Otani, a former close friend, now faces decades in prison for allegedly defrauding him. The former interpreter for Shohei Otani, one of the most popular and highest paid athletes on the planet, now faces federal charges of bank fraud for allegedly stealing millions from the Japanese superstar. Mr. Otani is considered a victim in this case. There is no evidence to indicate that Mr. Otani authorized the over $16 million of transfers from his account to the bookmakers. Ipe Muzahara, who worked for years as Otani's interpreter, is accused of impersonating the baseball player to fund his gambling habit, tricking bankers into transferring Otani's money into illegal gambling operations. At the same time he started placing the bets with bookmakers, Mr. Mitsuhara began using Mr. Otani's account to make payments. Mizuhara, who lives in Newport Beach, met Otani in 2013 and later became his interpreter according to federal investigators. In 2018, the 39-year-old helped Otani, who did not speak or understand English, set up a bank account to deposit his millions in earnings as a then Anaheim Angels player. U.S. Attorney for the Central District of California, Martin Estrada, says Muzahara refused to allow anyone else, including Otani's agent and financial advisor, access to the bank account. Mr. Mitsuhara used and abused that position of trust in order to plunder Mr. Otani's bank account to the tune of over $16 million. Last month, in his only remark since the scandal broke, the now L.A. Dodger Otani said he had been betrayed by his longtime interpreter. I'm just beyond shocked. It's really hard to uh, verbalize how I am feeling at this point. Otani is currently under a 10-year, $700 million contract with the Dodgers. According to IRS investigator Tyler Hatcher, it's unclear whether he'll get any of that stolen $16 million back. I don't know that we can comment on you know, the, the status of those funds, but be rest assured, if they are available, we will do our, everything we can to get them back to the victim. And while it's worth noting that the Department of Justice says Ms. O'Hara made thousands of sports bets, none of them, they say, were actually on baseball. Now, he's due to turn himself in tomorrow. It would be his first court appearance. If convicted, he faces up to 30 years in prison. Reporting live from downtown, I'm Carmen Dickerson, NBC4 News.